Hi guys, uh, <coughs> welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another new project. Yeah, very excited about this one. Um, been looking around for a long time for this kit and I found it and it is, ta-da, yes, it's the uh, Tamiya 135th scale uh, British 25 pounder, field gun and quad, quad gun tractor Canadian Ford FGT. Wow, what a mouthful. Anyway, uh, uh, I was at Telford recently. I was lucky to be at Telford there recently, and I um, I purchased this along with another kit. Um, the total was um, seventy quid, uh, but you got another one free. I didn't want another one free, so he gave me twenty percent off. So uh, I said forty, so that um, that was thirty three quid for that. I I was happy with that. Anyway, um, let's go over to the hobby desk and have a look inside the box. Cheers. Hi guys, so at the desk now, hobby desk, and uh, here we have this um, nice box art, as I say, um, really, really like this kit, just like the look of the, the, the tractor unit, don't know what it is, but I just find it quite quite a quite a nice looking kit, uh, obviously Tamiya, um, so it's going to be a good build, uh, inshallah, as they say out here, uh, it should fall together, no problem, so obviously nice, nice bit of box art there, um, as usual uh this long side just shows the um the sort of underside of the of the vehicle so you've got the quad the tractor you've got the trailer and then you've got the 25 pounder as well uh short side basically the front cover again and then we on this long side we've got various different other um armor uh that tommy produced let's see i haven't built that one built that one haven't built that, built that, built that. Oh, so Matilda, wouldn't mind having a go with that. And then the other long end is the same. Uh, so let's pop it open and see what we've got in the old box. Off you come. All right, so so let's see. One, two, three, four bags, bags of plastic, uh, a one-piece cob unit, and... Uh, Destructions or instructions, sorry. <laughs> Being a bit cheeky. Yeah. So um let's 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 have a look through these here now one at a time. Um let's pop that on out. See what the we what the plastic's like. So we've got that uh, sort of buff coloured. Um so this is the storage I take that's on the back back of the, the tractor unit. Yeah, so so that, that looks really good, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, so I'm not sure what the end, oh, so this is the front end, so this is Sprue D, so we've got our Pioneer tools there, it all looks good, there's no, no real flash to talk about there, is there guys, that's good, um, a couple of ejector pin marks there on, on, on the inside of that stuff, but you're not going to see that, that's going to be hidden, thank god, <laughs> don't have to deal with that, so that's Sprue D, very nice, let's pop this one open, Oh, so we've got two, we've got two sprues in this one, this bag, I don't know if you can get it out, oh. sorry about the rattling guys, forgive me, so this is sprues, uh, I believe that's A, and uh, B, so we've got A and B together, uh, again, just, just looking around that, there is, no flash at all and the detail is quite good so it is i like that excellent um yeah that's really good and now there's our driver okay so that looks good it was a wee bit of a wee bit of flash here but that that we can deal with that easy enough again ejector pin marks but that's that's not a well wonder will you see that with if the doors are closed you know if you're looking through the glazing anyway we'll we'll, we'll have a look at that when it comes to it so that's nice nice stuff look at that. that's the top isn't it the canopy like if you like or the the canvas I like that so that's 
that's sprue A, sprue B down. We've got the wheels, um, all very nice. More interior detail is that I'm assuming. Uh, check their pin marks again. We're not going to worry about that. We won't see it. Must be the driver's console, does it? Yeah, that's good. Okay. So let's uh, let's let's crack over another one. I see this one. So this bag, um, it seems to have the glazing in it. In it, I think there's, there's some glazing we need to put in. So again, forgive the, the rustleness. Perhaps you should have took these out before I started the video. Anyway, <laughs> we are here now. So I'm not going to take them out, guys. I'm just going to leave them in. But they look quite clear, don't they? The glazing. There's no scratches or anything on them at the moment. But no doubt, by the time I finish with them, that will be different. <laughs> I uh, know we'll do our best. Oh, that's nice. I like that. And this is sprue C. Yep, sprue C. Again, nice, lovely detail. I like that. So this must be the chassis then. Yeah. Okay. Very good. I'm. I'm really looking forward to putting this together. It looks good. Um. Lovely. Nice. Again, no flash. All. All pretty. Pretty. Pretty molded well. Yeah. Lovely. Lovely. Okay. Last. Last bag then. So this has got another two sprues in it. Uh, right, so this is um, sprue, sprue X, does that say? It does sprue X and sprue Y. Okay, X and Y, fair enough. So I take it this is all the gun bits and pieces. Um, uh, plenty of parts, isn't there? There is plenty of parts on it. Um, it, it looks a small vehicle, but um, there's lots of bits and pieces. So there's the cannon, so it's a two piece cannon. No doubt there'll be a seam in that. What does this is nice, isn't it? So this is where the gun would sit and they would they would turn it to position for shooting. Very nice. Lovely, lovely, like that. Looking forward to jump into this one. Well, yeah, cool. So that was X, this is Y. Uh again, nice detail. Nice detail indeed. Turn her over. Let's uh, we better maybe need to rub that down a wee bit. There seems to be edges there. Obviously some more pin marks, but I don't believe we're gonna see that. Yeah, good stuff. That's the frames or the sprues if you like. Now we've got the let me just pop that back in the box. So now we've got the, the instructions. Uh so this is the English version. Oh that's good, that's helpful. Um Okay, so um, this must be quite an old kit then. Um, I haven't looked it up on Scalemates yet to see see the history. Well, I might do that and then update on the next one. But um, the modern ones, you know, I, you, I like to see the color code out. They give us like a a, a, a table of of paints to be used. Here they just na name them. See, they got matte black, matte black. Um, I'm not going to go through the instructions, guys, with you. Uh, there's the engine being built up. No doubt you have seen this before. Um, but there's, there's quite a lot of detail, isn't there? Again, you know, the colour, buff, wood, steel. I, I like the ones where they tell me, <laughs> tell me what the XF number is. Oh, there's one up there. XF, XF10, 17, 18, X18. Oh, okay. There's a bit of a mixture. I'm I'm sure it's gonna be just um let's see what, what colour schemes do we have. Um I think that's the Canadian version, it's all green, dark green. A wee bit of camo. Oh that's it there. Colour would be helpful, I do like to see the colour. Yeah. I might be just trying to do what the, the box uh sorry, I maybe should try and do that box colour. You know, it's out in the desert. I'll see. I'll have a think about it. But um, yeah, uh, really nice kit. Really excited to start to build this. Um, I wanted to make a, a really good job of it. Uh, yeah, as I say, I've, I've been looking for it for some time now, and I, I finally got it. So, so there you are, guys. That's the um, that's a quick box uh, inside. Oh, sorry, we haven't looked at the. We didn't look at the cab thing. Um, or the. Let me just pop this out. Sorry about that. I just pop that out. Uh, this is one piece for the looks of things. 
Um, I'm assuming it's one piece. Yes. Oh, it's not. It's two pieces. I was going to say. Excellent. So, uh, obviously, we've got some interior I need to pop into it. Uh, again, you know, that, that just gives you the scale of it. It's, um, so it's going to be about that length, isn't it? No, it's quite nice. I like, I like this. I really do like that. There's rivets, I'm assuming. Nice detail. Very sharp. Yeah, nice. Um, I'm just wondering about those ejector pins. Will you be able to see that? If you, you know, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Um, and then here's your, 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 your cab floor. Very nice. Oh, oh, very good. Yep. Yep, good stuff. Looking forward to that. Well, you are, guys. Um, any comments? Uh, uh, has anybody built this before? I assume there is. Um, any tips and tricks? I'll be gratefully received. And uh, as usual, any comments are gratefully received, uh, good or bad. And I'll try and answer them all. Okay, On until the next time. Thanks for watching. Take care. Happy modeling. Bye.